good morning boys and girls so as we are reading our book today when you see this purple rectangle that means that we're going to try and figure that word out together and this week that means we're going to think about what word makes sense so even if we don't have any letter clues or sound clues how can we still figure out what word would make sense in that sentence get ready this week, we are going to start reading Leroy Ninker Saddles Up by Kate DiCamillo, illustrated by Chris Van Dussen. Chapter 1. Leroy Ninker worked at the Bijou Drive-In Theater hmm, stand. So we see we've got our first purple rectangle. So let's think about what our clues are. He worked at a drive-in theater, and using my picture clues, it looks like that's a movie theater. I'm not sure I have enough, so I'm going to see if I can read one more sentence and see if that helps. It was Leroy's job to pour drinks and butter popcorn and smile, a very large smile. So let's see. I know he works at a movie theater. I know he pours drinks and he puts buttered popcorn and he smiles at people. So let me see if I can think about what kind of people work at a movie theater. Where would somebody at a movie theater work? He could work at a ticket stand, but... If he worked at a ticket stand, he wouldn't pour drinks. Could he work at a concession stand? What do you guys think? Let's check. I've got a C. Does that fit with c concession stand? Concession. Hey, we were right. Leroy Ninker worked at the Bijou Drive-In Theater concession stand. It was Leroy's job to pour drinks and butter popcorn and smile a very large smile. At the concession stand, Leroy Ninker said, Thank you very much. He said, Extra butter on that? He also said, yippee i -o. Leroy Ninker said, yippee i -o, Because Leroy Ninker had a dream. He wanted to be a... What did Leroy Ninker want to be if he said, yippee i -o? Hmm, I think that one's an easy one. Because the only people I know that say, yippee i -o, want to be a cowboy. Let's see. He wanted to be a cowboy. Very nice. And whenever I figure out a word, I go back and I reread that sentence. So, Leroy Ninker said yippee i -o, because Leroy Ninker had a dream. He wanted to be a cowboy. On Wednesday nights, the Bijou Drive-In Theater ran a western double feature, and Leroy Ninker stood and watched in wonder as the great white expanse of the bijou screen filled with purple mountains wide open plains and cowboys the cowboys wore ten gallon hats they wore they carried lassos so let's see they wore hats what else do they wear hmm. they wear let's see maybe they wear jackets maybe they wear boots Maybe they wear, hmm, oh, they wear spurs on their boots. Hmm, they wear belts. So we've got a lot of things that this could be, right? There are a lot of possibilities. So let's check our letter. So they wore, b ooh, I think boots was right. They wore boots. And now that we've saw the word, we go back. The cowboys wore 10 gallon hats. They wore boots. They carried lassos. The cowboys were men who cast long shadows and knew how to fight injustice. They were men who were never, ever... Hmm. Hmm. They were never, ever... Late? That doesn't, make, that doesn't make sense. Let's see. They were never, ever... Mean? That doesn't make sense either. They were never, ever... Scared? Maybe. They were never, ever, hmm, they were never, ever happy? Could be. Let's see. They were never, ever, uh, afraid. They were never afraid. Oh, we were pretty close with scared. Let's see. We start our sentence over. They were men who were never, ever afraid. yippee i -o, Leroy Ninker whispered to the screen. That is the life for me. A cowboy is who I was meant to be. Who are you whispering to? said Beatrice Leopelioni. 
Beatrice was the ticket seller at the Bijou. Once all the tickets were sold and the movie had begun, Beatrice joined Leroy Ninger in the concession stand so that she could eat popcorn and watch the movie. I am not whispering, said Leroy Ninger very loudly. Cowboys do not whisper. Can I make a point, said Beatrice Leah, P Leah Paleone. Can I make a simple observation? Yes, said Leroy. All these cowboys, said Beatrice. What do they got? Hats, said Leroy Ninker as he stared at the screen. And also boots. Yup, said Beatrice. What else? Lassos, said Leroy. He put his hand on his lasso. And, said Beatrice. Tracking abilities, said Leroy. Beatrice heaved a heavy sigh. <sighs> I am thinking of something that you could actually see. Something right in front of you. She paused. Something that the cowboys are sitting on. Leroy Ninker took off his hat and scratched his head. Beatrice sighed again. Horses, Leroy, she said. Every cowboy needs a horse. Leroy Ninker was a small man with a big dream. He was also the kind of man who knew the truth when he heard it. Suddenly, his hat and his lasso and his boots and his yippee i -os didn't feel like enough. Beatrice Leah Paleone was right. How could he ever hope to be a cowboy, a real cowboy, a true cowboy, without a horse? Yup, said Beatrice, you've got a problem. You've got to procure a horse. But don't worry, I happen to have the solution for you right here. She held up a copy of the Gisford Gazette. Listen, she said. Beatrice adjusted her glasses. She cleared her throat. <clears> throat. Horse for sale, Beatrice Leah Paleone read. Old but good. Very exceptionally cheap. yippee i -o, said Leroy Dinker. He took out his wallet and counted his money. He looked at Beatrice Leah Paleone. He said, How much is very exceptionally cheap? Well, I guess you won't know until you ask, said Beatrice. Right, said Leroy. He counted his money again. I hope I have enough. Listen, said Beatrice, what you have to do here is take fate in your hands and wrestle it to the ground. Right, said Leroy, I am going to wrestle fate. I am going to get a horse. There you go, said Beatrice. She tore the ad out of the paper and handed it to Leroy. yippee i -o, said Leroy. He carefully folded the piece of paper and put it in his wallet. Don't forget to... Hmm, the teeth, said Beatrice Leah Paleone. Don't forget to... the teeth. Let's see. What will we do with teeth? Let's see. Don't forget to... Let me read a little bit more. Don't forget to... The teeth, said Beatrice Leah Paleone, and the hooves. That is what matters with horses. Teeth and hooves. Let's see. I could brush the teeth. That would be a weird thing to do, to brush a horse's teeth. Let's see. We could tap the teeth. We could check the teeth. Hmm. I think the one that makes the most sense is check. Don't forget to check the teeth. Let's see. We've got... Oh, that doesn't match. We said check, but we've got in... Oh, man, do you know what another word for check is? Inspect. I wonder if this is inspect. There we go. It looks like it matches. That means we have to start over. Don't forget to inspect the teeth, said Beatrice Leah Paleone. And the hooves. That is what matters with horses. Teeth and hooves. Teeth and hooves, said Leroy Ninker. Exactly, said Beatrice. That night, Leroy Ninker did not sleep well. He, of horses. Oh, uh, well, if he's not sleeping well, he probably dreamed of horses. Let's see. Yep. Looks like it matches. That night, Leroy Ninker did not sleep well. He dreamed of horses. Specifically, he dreamed of teeth and hooves. Also, he dreamed of Beatrice Leah Paleone. In his dream, she kept clearing her throat and saying, Take fate in your hands! Take fate in your hands! Take fate in your hands! And then what? said Leroy Ninker in his dream. And then, said Beatrice Leah Paleone in a very solemn voice, You must wrestle it to the ground. <laughs>